Hi everyone and thanks for joining me today. I have um, two vintage packs, new ones that I've put together um, up for sale. Now I have a nature themed one and a floral themed one and they are jam packed full of um, goodies and finds and some things that I've actually made um, so that you can put together your own um, journal and I you know I've done all the sort of legwork for you in the way of finding nice book pages some ephemera coffee dyed pages and um, vintage elements in here as well so let me show you I'm super excited to show you this one this is one of my favorites um, that I've actually put together so this is a nature themed one and to start with I've put two um, handmade goodies in here now this is a, a pocket flip pocket which has these pull out um cards on them and i've used some uh, vintage book pages some fabric and i've put some tabs on the edges for you so you've got writing space there and then there's another one here with this beautiful image of the bird and then again, coffee dyed paper on there. So this is just a cute little booklet that you can flip over a page. And then this one is a little um, journaling. They've got little journaling cards. And this is made from some vintage, a vintage ladybird book. And I just love the images on here. And it's using Tim Holtz cardstock. And then you've got these lovely, gorgeous this lovely gorgeous bird so these are two ready-made little booklets that i've added in for extra because there are lots of birds in this pack so let's go to the um first pack that you receive so you actually get all of these goodies um and they are 25 pounds um for the uk and that's including postage if you're outside of the uk um, I'll have to let you know how much extra the postage would be. So, there are lots and lots. I'm so sorry, this should have been tidied up a little bit. Um, so, let's go through what's in here. So, I've included this gorgeous bird napkin. And it is just full of birds. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. So, you have that napkin. And then I've put in... This very, very pretty floral napkin as well. So you can have lots of fun with these napkins. So that's the first thing that's in here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. There is a, a handmade tag um, that I have made with coffee dyed paper. So I said I've put some... Um, handmade things in here as well so you've got my personal touch in here let me just put these in this little pile here this is just an old book page um that i've turned into an envelope that you can decorate this is a cute little um envelope which is very gorgeous with bird feathers on it and then you've got some little tuck spot bits that you can add in there i've included these bird um, images um, this one has got birthday on it but you can cut that off and use that image there um, this one says i know you'll be amazing you're the best all, at all you do but i'd like to send best wishes and lots of luck to you so these were used for birthday cards etc but i thought you could actually just cut the image off and use the images this one is i am so very lucky to have a friend like you you truly are a one-off there never could be two it never fails to amaze me how wonderful you are the perfect friend in every way an absolute superstar so if you was to make this journal to give to someone this would be perfect to pop in there if not you could cut that bit off and use the images um from those um, this is a, a blank tag that you can decorate but i've done the coffee dyeing on the back um, I have, let's keep the book pages together, Chanel. You're very messy today. Right, okay. We have a, this is just one of the to-do list sort of things that you can put in there. And a um, clocking in card. Um, 
This is a little booklet that I have made as an extra. Look at this. This has just got lots of old pages and I covered this with fabric and um, it has got this lovely satin um, satin tie around it, a satin ribbon I should say. Um, so that's an extra. There's lots of extras in this pack. And then let's keep these book pages all together. There are loads and loads and loads of book pages in here. So I'm going to keep those all separate. You've got a vintage handkerchief. Um, very pretty with some lovely... They have been washed, by the way. <laughs> um, and then a, a fabric snippet that you can use belly band. It has a lovely little lacy, um, I have a lovely little lacy drawstring bag, which I thought would be fun to include in some of these packs. It's very vintage that you could even stick on the page and put little tags inside. There's a little coffee filter or tea bag there. There are some little fabric pieces. This one has a gorgeous, beautiful birdie. This one has little flamingos. And then a lovely floral piece there. And then a piece of lace. And then the book pages. We have this gorgeous um, image with flowers. And then Edith Holden. One which has this lovely bird. A, gold, a green woodpecker. This lovely cottage. A picture of a cottage. Which would be lovely as a flip. We've got some um, other vintage birdie books here. Lots of little birds. And there's these are what I used on the tuck spots for one of the flip books that I put in. There's also this vintage card here. The Finch. Um, just some general book pages. So dictionary pages, quotes, stamp book pages. Oh, this is just an old vintage book. We've got your map page, which I always include one of them. This is a herb from a herb book. Lovely images on there. Another gorgeous herbal one. And then I put some fun, a fun magazine page in here as well. I just like the, the difference in the pages. Some Shakespeare. This is some vintage um, music score paper pages. Lots of vintage books in here. My work on an ostrich farm. Um, bumptiousness. What a lovely word. Bumptiousness. Um, more magazine sort of pages. More glossier. And you've got vintage stamp album. This is another vintage book, which is very old. Then this was from a kid's book. I thought it was so cute. Um, it's a colouring book. It's a vintage one. And the, the a child has coloured the page in. And I just thought that was so cute to add into um, the journal. I love it. Um, another um, bird page. And this one here, Busy Mother Nature. With the little birdies there. And then a nice. This is um, from a very old book. It is an, an image that I took from a very old book. Um, early 1900s I believe. And then this lovely glossy um, sort of field picture. And I've got a couple of these from this bird book. Which I thought was really fun of these drawings of these um, mallards and there's this one here and then some more lovely images there so those are the book pages and the extra bits and pieces so let's put all these together Oops, okay that's those and then you have these two little booklets and then this is your coffee dyed paper and your vintage 
laces and extras so let me show you just so that you can see um what's actually in here now this pack here um with the floral pack you get exactly the same in it so i won't bother showing that on the floral one so on both packs you do get this pack which includes lots and lots of um vintage and coffee dyed um lacy laces so this one is a coffee dyed piece and this one is coffee dyed as well this lovely strip of lace and then this is vintage this one is vintage this is coffee dyed and then this is a gorgeous piece of lace that I have included this isn't vintage um, but it's a lovely piece of lace um, lots of bits that you can use on that and then we've got a coffee dyed envelope some these are all coffee dyed most of these are anyway coffee dyed so a coffee dyed index card an old book page i've got some old coffee dyed ledger um grid paper a big massive envelope that's been coffee dyed some lined paper music paper vintage music paper um more coffee dyed sheets coffee dyed tracing paper which is all crinkly and yummy a lovely um notebook page which has got a butterfly and flowers on there vintage ledger a nice big size there and then there are five sheets of coffee dyed paper in there as well so those are your coffee dyed pages and extras and fabrics and bits and pieces i'm gonna have to put all these back nice and neatly um so this pack you will also get with the um floral one so that is the um the nature pack so if you're wanting uh one of these and you want the nature one just tell me it's the nature pack so that's the nature pack so let me show you the floral pack Oh gosh, I'm just put that there. Um, okay. Now I did have some extra pieces to add to this one, and I've just got to grab it. Um, where are we? Right, okay. Um, I wanted to add some little extras in the pack. So this is the floral one. Um, so let me show you some of the handmade things first. So I've added this little folio in here that I made the other day. It's just very pretty. Um, it's got a little um, flip out little booklet in there that goes there. And it has a tag here. So you've got this lovely little um, beautiful with the roses um, folio. And then I have put one of the pockets that you can stuff. So this has got three uh two pockets um three actually because you've got the fabric one here i know it's three you've got a little fabric pocket here and then two pockets there so you can that's a stuffed pocket so those are the little extras that i've added that i have made um obviously you get the same pack with all the fabrics and the coffee dyed so i'm not going to get all that out because you've just seen it um but let me open this pack up and show you um what's inside here um you guys no 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 fighting i don't know if you can see i'll try and zoom out um i don't know if you can see i actually have lewis is here today um he has started to come into my craft room i'll show you him at the end of the video he is super cute so yes charlie just got up then and was not happy about it right okay let's show you what's in here um oh we've got lots of little bits and pieces 
Right, okay. So, we have a vintage handkerchief, which is very pretty with lots of gorgeous flowers. So we have that. Um, there is an old book page um, that I've turned into an envelope for you to decorate. This was a little um, thing that I made ages ago and decorated it and painted it. Um, so I thought I'd put that in. It'd be a great little tuck spot. There's another vintage page um, envelope there. There is a blank tag with coffee dyed paper. Um, in each pack I do put the uh, to-do list page and the checklist. I have included a um, fabric pocket, gorgeous um, applique on them. Let me just take, oh, they've left the threads on. I'll leave those threads on for you and then you can decide whether you want them or not. This is a gorgeous fabric pocket um, that has got two pockets and it's got this gorgeous floral applique and some lace um this is a lace pocket on there as well so that you could use to stuff in your um thing you've got a lovely um it's like a scarf pin but i thought that would be fun to clip onto either the front or inside the journal so you have a brooch um we have some another this it could be used as a belly band it's a lovely floral um snippet piece fabric snippet which you could use as a belly band lovely um roses there's lots of fabrics in here as well there are lots and lots and lots this one i have included so many fabrics and um, flowers and pieces so you've got some little tiny snippets of fabric this one is gorgeous and then you've got this beautiful floral piece and i love this piece of fabric i just think that is so super pretty and then you have this lovely sort of embroidered piece um we have lots of things in here right we've got a lovely flowered lacy piece um lovely strip of roses it has got some strings hanging from it don't know how that happened so you've got this lovely roses and some more flowers there and another strip of flowers and this is from vintage wedding dress this is just gorgeous a lovely sort of netty lacy piece just gorgeous and lots of little appliques I've put lots in here this one has little pearls on it and then we have all of these um, individual these are vintage these sort of fern sort of style ones are vintage um, those pieces here are all vintage and that one is as well i think they all are actually um then we've still got more appliques coming out here look at all of this floral fun you can have so we've got lots of bits and pieces this one is super cute with little dangly bits um i've included some little satin roses there's a handful of those little satin roses that one's kind of done so you've got a little handful of satin roses i've also put some of these little fun felt ones in and some super sparkly um ones as well and that's just a piece of lace then you have this lovely fabric piece um it's just lovely i think um this would be just gorgeous as a belly band that's just lovely. I love that. Right, now going on to the book. Oh, no, we're not done yet. We've got more little um, satin ribbon roses. I've also put some gorgeous napkins in. So we've got this gorgeous floral one that just repeats. It's 
um, that repeats. So that's a great big floral napkin. And then an even bigger napkin here. This is a really thicker napkin. It's very, very pretty, actually. Very posh. And let me just see if I can find it. Uh, there you go. So that's the great big huge napkin. As you can see, it's massive. And there. And then the book pages. Oh. We have two floral playing cards. And this lovely floral image. Um, this is just quotes. A couple of dic French dictionary pages, stamp collector's pages, there's a couple of those. Um, another old book page, your Atlas map one. All right, let's go through these. You have a stamp album page. This is from an 1800s book. Oh, you've got a little coffee tea bag there. Then I put this gorgeous floral image in here um, an Edith Holden page a lovely country glossy image love that um, herb page another um, this is just for me flower book then I've put another magazine glossy magazine page in here which I thought was just very colorful love the leaves and that on that one um, some Shakespeare uh, a music score sheet which someone has actually written on which I thought would be fun um, an old book page and another old book page just gorgeous images on there look at those um so that is the floral pack and the wildlife pack and i've got to make all of this super super tidy now this one i tried to concentrate more on fabrics and flowers and appliques um as well as everything else um so this one is just jam-packed with lots and lots of flowers and things but don't forget you've also got um, the extra goodies that I made and you have the um, coffee dyed and the vintage lace as well so those are the two packs so let me know um, if you're interested in either of them they are £25 each that does include postage to the UK but it will be extra postage if you are out of the UK just leave a comment below or email me at stampingstilettos at gmail.com it is in the description below um, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.